the shot, but hi guys, good afternoon. It's a little bit later, Saturday on Easter, um, Saturday. Tomorrow's Easter, so happy Easter, everybody. Hello, my name is Hope, and I'm a Cetaholic. Say it with me if you're not new, and if you are new and you're a Cetaholic, say it with me. Hello, my name is, and I'm a Cetaholic, because you know we all are. And I'm doing a series of unboxings today. Some are m greatly overdue. This one is from UT3300. Trinity, Angel, and Kiddo. And if you haven't been to their channel, please check them out. They are wonderful, wonderful people. And I've had this for a while and kind of was sitting on it. I told you earlier I'd been taking a break and I'm back in the game, guys. It says, Dear friends, hope these seeds make it to you in good health and happiness. They did. Thank you. Share, save, or grow as you see fit. Not just a gift from us, but the entire gardening community. Thanks for the friendship. Thank you guys right back. You guys are awesome. Let's see what they sent me. That's the whole point of this. Oh, bear with me, guys, because I am... Oh, my God. I might have to get a little help with this one today. Not right this second. Let's see if I can do it. Um, well, no, I'm going to ask for help because otherwise it's back to the teeth. And I know how you guys always scold me about the teeth. So let's see what we got. They're packaged up so nice, you guys. Thank you. And I know they save a lot of their own seeds. And they, that's what this bag says. It says, our saves. Eva Purple Ball. That's a tomato. Look at all these tomatoes. Black cherry. I'm excited to grow that this year. Sugar Rush Peach Hot. So I'll grow it, but I'll give it to friends in my community and my church that will use it because I'm a lightweight and I won't. Um, my son has a couple friends that like hot, so I'll share with them. I got pumpkin pepper sweet. And I think that's that little orange one. It's like a paprika style. So I'm excited to grow that. Lemon drop hot. It's a gorgeous pepper and that's going in the hot pile because that's for other people. Woo, kiddo corn. This is, um, Kiddo grows glass gem corn, and then he shares from whatever ears he gets every year and dries it for popcorn. So I'm going to try and get it away from the squirrels this year. It did grow last year, but the squirrels got me again, guys. So I'm going to try um, a trick with some tool this year and see what happens. A mana orange. I love orange tomatoes, and I've never had that one, so I'm excited to try that. And Kellogg's breakfast. I got one to grow last year. I didn't film myself picking it and eating it. Because once I took a bite, a slice of it, uh, a bite out of the slice started slicing. It was so good. I just couldn't wait. <laughs> I'm sorry. This year I'll try to film it because it is a good tomato. Buena Mulata Hot. And this pepper I'm going to try and grow again. I think we got one once two years ago. My husband was able to um, steward um, a couple seeds, but ours didn't turn out. So I'm glad to get more because this is a pepper that was saved by an African-American gentleman named Horace Pippin over in Pennsylvania. He used to trade bee stings for his arthritis for seeds with William Woy's Weaver, who saved his seeds so that they could be shared out amongst the gardening community. So thank you, because I was going to buy some of those, and they were out of stock. So thank you, guys. You always seem to know what I need. It's perfect. And then this is... Oh! I had sent them a gift <laughs> and this is proof that they used it. This is from a place called www.chiliplants.com. This is Bulgarian carrot. I don't, um, this looks like a tomato seed to me, but it might be a pepper. I can't remember, but I'm going to grow it and we'll find out together. Or, um, if you're watching UT, please put a comment below because I honestly don't remember. And then... Jake's Seeds, I don't know who Jake is, Pesh Juan Tomato Seeds, I don't know that tomato, but I'm going to grow it out and find out about that too. And then this one, Survival Essentials, Chocolate Stripes Tomato, ooh, a lot of cool tomatoes, thank you. I always love getting new varieties that I don't have. And then Crookneck Squash, which I love, 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 we all do. Pie Pumpkin, I got three, I in we just put one in the compost about a week ago. I grew these last year. I didn't. You guys didn't get to see it, but they were 
on my Halloween table. Didn't have them at church because, you know, there was no church at church. Acorn squash. Whew. I always had these volunteer for years and they stopped. And I think he was paying attention when I said that because he sent me more seeds. Thank you. Because I don't have seeds for that. And then black diamond. Oh, my God. This is my favorite watermelon, black diamond. If you haven't tasted this watermelon, you guys, you've got to try it. I'm going to grow this for sure. I'm probably going to set me 20 seeds. I'm probably going to grow at least five plants. Hopefully I get at least two watermelons so I can shepherd these seeds because this is the best watermelon I've ever tasted. And it's a nice size that you don't have to really wrestle with, but gives you enough to feed everybody. So that's all from UT33200 channel. Thank you so much for your gift and your blessing. And to all of you, I want to say blessings of bounty. And may your gardens and your lives always filled with be filled with joy, inspiration, and abundance. God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye.